start. Welcome back in with King Family to another F1 Manager 2022 video and we're back here with Team McLaren uh, for our Road to Glory. Alright, so currently uh, we have our next race which is going to be Imola uh, coming up. We will have to wait until after Imola to get our brand new uh, part that we designed, our brand new floor. Uh, it's going to be the first upgrade uh, to our car from the starting of the season. Uh, so we'll have to wait there uh, to get that. We see Tio here getting a uh, point. We're going to just drop that into cornering right there. And we're going to let him do his thing. Uh, as for staff, no point. As for facilities, a few of them has been completed. Uh, but we're currently down to like only 5 million uh, in money. So we're going to be just sitting that one. Uh, out for now we're not going to be upgrading anything uh, we're just going to be jumping into our next race uh, which is going to be the Imola Grand Prix so today is uh, a brand new update for F1 manager uh, 2022 reach Q2 we should be able to reach Q2 with both drivers so we'll take that so today is a brand new update uh, hopefully uh, we see some faster slap that we're going to get that so I'm not going to put that on. Well, hopefully we uh, see some changes in the tire decks and the speed of the different different compound of tires as those were listed in the update uh, uh, briefing to say that those are going to be getting better. So we're going to be testing it out here at Imola uh, to see uh, how it goes. So let's jump on into our free practice. The hills of Tuscany are green to the south, but here in Imola, the air is red hot. Welcome to Ferrari's turf for the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix. The track has been around since the 60s, but the first official Formula One race was held here in 1980. Let's see what excitement lies ahead this year. This is Imola, and it's an old school track with plenty of elevation changes and lots of corners. There's only one DRS zone here, but it follows the long straight right before Tamburello and should see plenty of action. At this early stage in the season, there are still plenty of opportunities for things to change. In this sport, there simply are no guarantees. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we go. Free practice at Imola. It's going to be wet. All right, so wet practice it's gonna be uh, so let's jump on in uh, once again we're gonna switch out Danny Ricardo for a rookie driver you always want to throw your rookie driver in there uh, as he will get the most uh, experience uh, only he only gains experience only from free practice one so you always want to kind of throw him in there uh, into free practice one uh, and see what he could do All right, we're just gonna leave that right there balance and then we'll go 20 laps always go down to the purple so you get the most out of your laps and we're gonna do the same let's look at it all right so Lando's parts looking a little bit different all right let's leave Lando's the same and let's go 20 and cut it down cut it down and let's go for free practice one is the radio okay now Mainly what I want to see is when that rain is going to come. There's no rain scheduled to come into free practice one here. So I guess it's going to be coming in free practice two. All right. Uh, let's let them run and come back in. All right, guys. So that was it for free practice. Uh, we managed to get our track actualization and our setup almost perfect. There you go. Danny Ricardo 100% uh, Lando Norris 100% actualization and 99% and 99% on track setup so we almost got it at 100% for both of our drivers here uh, so we're going to be jumping into qualifying and see what we could do all right so for qualifying run uh, I'm going to be changing out my gearbox to a brand new gearbox so let's give a, give them a new gearbox 
both of them a brand new gearbox and then we'll use this this worn gearbox we use that for practice uh, and run some practice sessions on that to get the most out of it all right so that's going to be our setup and let's jump on into our qualifying session Daniel radio check that looks like a good time to send yep, our drivers radio, out there we go we're starting right at the bottom uh, right where the traffic is going to be picking up on a track so we're going to take advantage of that all right so we made it into q2 uh p12 p13 with our drivers we're going to be jumping on into q2 here uh, and see what we can do in q2 all right, here we go for our Q2 run. Let's see if we can get any of our drivers in Q3. Let's see. All right, the Norris looks good. Where will he come out? Norris with a great penalty though. Why did Norris get a great penalty? I don't know. I don't know why Norris, Lando Norris got a great penalty. Alright, Ricardo improving in front of Sonoda, so P14. Oh, P10 gets a great penalty. Or is that the great penalty that pushes Norris down to P12? Alright, so P12 it seems uh, is where we're going to be with Lando Norris. So we're going to get kicked out here. Out of this q2 session so we're not making it to q3 uh this time around so there we go all right q12 q14 is where we're going to be starting or next race or this race on imla all right so that's all right let's jump into it and see what we can do the grid is packed so there's electricity in the air but there's no surprises in that it's race day McLaren did a decent job during qualifying. This is a solid grid position, and it certainly has the potential to lead to good race results. Alfa Romeo managed to meet expectations during qualifying, and if they can keep this up, they'll have a good race ahead of them. And the clouds today look very ominous, which means that teams may have to contend with rain at some point during the race. Meanwhile, in the grandstands, the red wave is swelling. So let's find out who wins the day, here at Imola. Alright, so here we go for our Imola Grand Prix. We're going to be running softs, uh, mediums into hard tires uh, for this one. Kind of staying off the softs, unless there's some form of safety car or something that we could jump back in on the softs. Alright, but let's cut up to overtaking. For both our drivers as the start or little trick uh, that or little trick at the starting of each race to give our drivers the best push off they can get and it's lights out let's jump in to the Imola Grand Prix remember to smash that like button if you haven't already done so appreciate you guys for all your support let's go it's a bit of a cloudy day for the race but the atmosphere as ever is electric and there's Lando Norris. With their starting position in the back 10, they'll have their work cut out for them. And behind them, it's Ricardo. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. The race start is mere seconds away. The crowd are on their feet in anticipation of this. The Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. And it slides out, and away we go. All right, here we go. Let's see if our drivers pick up any positions nice and early. Lando Norris got a nice start. Looks like he can go down the inside of Zoe here. Let's see if he makes that move. All right, Ricardo and Norris moved up on Magnuson. Or Ricardo moved up on Magnuson, not Norris. Norris still holding his position. Who's here? Can we move up on Zoe? Don't know. Lando is a bit dropping back here. 
you see what tires all right so soft zoe's on soft tires and with the new update those soft should be a little bit faster than the mediums and the medium should be a little bit faster than the hards all right so we're not getting that move just yet so we're now going to cut them down to neutral cut them down to neutral and let them drive we want to keep Lando nice within DRS looking good looking good now Lando is kind of dropping off uh, he's back in there now as you can see on the timing screen though those softs are, are a lot faster I doubt they're going to be able to go as long as the medium. So we just want to make sure we're nice and close and don't let them pull away. Right, we're going to cut back up to overtake with boat drivers. So we can close down that gap. To Zoe, we don't want them to pull away at all. We want to stick with that train, so we want to make sure we're using all the power that we can to stick around if Ricardo could pull away from Magnussen then that would be great news for us uh, but at this time he's not pulling away Lando is basically pulling away from Ricardo here so Ricardo is barely sticking with Lando now he's out Right, we're going to cut back Landor to neutral since he has caught up and kind of give Ricardo that little boost to stick with him. Now we can cut Lando up to overtake. That's overtake. Yeah, confirm. Since Ricardo has caught, caught up, and DRS, DRS is now enabled. Not going to get DRS here though. Right, Ricardo dropping out again, so we're going to cut back Lando to neutral and let Ricardo catch up. See if he can close that gap so he can get DRS. Right, there he goes, closing the gap. Looks like he's trying to pull away from Magnuson as well. He's getting there. Let's see if he can pull away from Kevin. Yes, he can. Pulling away from Kevin Magnuson. Beautiful driving here from Danny Ricardo. To close down on the back of Norris and pull away from Magnuson. Taking him out of DRS. So when they hit this DRS street uh, up here, they should be nice and free to run. And let's cut now Ricardo down to neutral. They both should get a good DRS to pull away from Magnuson. Another driver locked up. Who locked up? Bottas. There he is dropping down the order. Seems to have been a lock up. Let's take a quick look at Bottas locked up. Mm -hmm. and, yes, and there he goes. Went straight on. devastated they'll be questioning just what happened out there yep i hate when that happened I hate when that happens but it is what it is how come we didn't get drs there we should have been in drs flying down that straight or did we get it all right so we see uh joe kind of pulling away on his softer compound on Lando here, so we're gonna let Lando push uh, with overtake to go catch up. Stick within that DRS train. We don't want him to drop out of the train. Want him to be right in there. And we, as we just stick with the train, Ocon is basically lost DRS to Gasly, so he's gonna now start to slow down and slow this train down. 
as Gasly and those up by the front runners are going to be pulling away Russell two seconds off of Verstappen so that's another little train there all right we should get DRS now down this straight there goes DRS where wings wide open drivers flying Wait, is the bug back with Lando Norris? I see Lando Norris' rear wing wasn't open. So it looks like that bug that caused the DRS uh, to, to uh, the rear wings to not open visually. The DRS to not visibly show. Looks like it's back. So we've charged a little with boat drivers. We can cut them back to neutral now. Okay. Right, let's add some speed. All right, guys, so we're up to lap ten. Want to do some harvesting? Like with both or drivers button off. as we're gonna now start to try once we harvest a little uh what i'm gonna do once we've harvest a little battery is we're gonna start trying to get some overtakes done all right and try and move up a few places So we should get DRS all the way down there and then we can cut back up to neutral, neutral with the charge. All right, so we're going to let Lando catch up and Ricardo continues to pull along to see our tired eggs. That's right, so 81% compared to 71 on the soft. Uh, the hard tire seems to be running down really quick as well. 86%, 85% is where they are at this time. Right, so Ricardo looks like he's dropping back to Lando. Hopefully he can catch us up. All right, we're gonna give Lando some overtake and give Ricardo some overtake as well. Yeah, confirm. Tired eggs looking good. And then we're gonna give attack aggressive on the tires for both drivers. As both of them pit strategies are like one lap apart. So we wanna go aggressive and see if we can pick up some position. So keep that overtake on them. Ricardo dropped back off Lando, but he got back in there. All right, come on, Lando. Get in there. Do some driving. Use that ERS. And get in there, Lando. All over, Joe. Here's Lando Norris. Now he's going to try and go down the inside of Zoe. There you go. Uh, Zoe got the better line around this corner. Yes, he does. Can we still get the position, though? Can we still get the position, though? Off one, you Zoe. You got the better corner. No, not this time around. It's an inside turn. So the inside line would be the faster line. And there we go. But then he's going to go for a right. And then back to the inside line, and we'll take that inside line all for ourselves. So, and then we're gonna cut back down to harvest as our battery is gonna one. be done. Yeah, confirm. Right, so we'll harvest both. Great drive from Lando oh, so to pick up that position. Okay, gotcha. So 
So we're gonna charge and then go again for our next attempt. With both drivers. And see if Ricardo can get Zoe and Lando could get uh, one of those Alpine. But here comes Zoe back on Lando. Come on Lando, defend your position bro. Defend. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Nope. All right, so Lando did not defend. Zoe just really took back that position. He's on the softer compound like though, so he's going a bit Alpha faster Romero. than Lando Norris is. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Let's watch those intervals. You don't want them to pull too far away. While well, we continue to harvest the Lando. I wanted to, to make it around for this lap of harvesting so I could use Ricardo uh, to push around Zoe and use Lando to go attack the Alpines, but didn't work out. 12 laps to our pit window. Our tires are looking good for to go to our pit window with both drivers. We're right on the tire deck line, not below, right on it. Right on it. So we keep going. Let's speed it up. Uh, that's Schumacher. Ooh, okay, Mick Schumacher that's crashed. We're yellow flags. Yellow flags. Let's, Let's see, see that turn then. seven. Now just focus on the hats. Ah, crazy crash there. All right, so let's keep going. He's he was behind us anyway, so that's not gonna affect us. So we'll keep harvesting. Ricardo battery now full, so we cut that up to normal. As we let Lando harvest. All right, it's gonna be a safety car. We don't want to change tires. We don't want to change tires. Yeah, so charge, go back okay. to charge, go back to charge. We don't want to change tires, standard, standard. We're, we're, we're going to try and make sure we keep our position Just here. Be careful with this tire. Let's okay. put them to conserve, save some of okay, that tire. The tire, save some of that fuel Understood. as we move to the safety car. Red flag, red flag. It's our first red, red, flag, red flag in yeah. F1 manager. All right, so 10 minutes uh, to continue. All right, there we go. First position, P10, P11. And we are free to switch tires if we'd like. We got a free choice of tires. Can we go uh, back to uh, a fresh pair of mediums? Or do we want to restart on some fresh hearts? Yeah, let's restart on some fresh hearts. Fresh hearts. So we could come back to possibly softs at the last minute. We're ready to get this race All right, so we're back on. Again. We got our fresh hearts on. And it's lights out. And Stand away hard. we go. Standard. Overtake. Overtake. Available. Overtake. Balance. Balance. All right. So there we go. All right. So Lando up to P8. Nice start from him. Ricardo still holding P11. Really great start from Lando Norris there on his fresh hard. So everybody should have changed. There we see everybody changed tires. Okay. Come on, Ricardo, get in there and pick off some positions as well. And which, why I switched for the hard is because I wanted a different compound uh, so I can go back to pit. Or these hearts could go to the end. There's the tire deck. These hearts looks like they can go to the end. Compare, let me see mediums. Wonder how far those mediums can go. Can the mediums go to the end from here? These hards are looking to go to the end, guys. So we're definitely going to be going to the end with these hards. 
All right, we're definitely going to be going to the end with these hards. Let's cut back down to neutral. Neutral on our ERS. As DRS will not be enabled for the next two laps. We have Pierre Gasly behind Lando Norris. He has the faster car. DRS is enabled. DRS is enabled oh, now. DRS is now enabled in one lap, not two. Okay, so after the red flag, it's one lap, not two. All right. Let's see the interval. Here we go. Always want to stick with your with the drivers up ahead. Don't want to let them pull too far away. Alright, Lando Norris looking like he's dropping out. So we're gonna go overtake with him. And we're gonna increase his pace a little bit. So he sticks with uh, Alonzo who has the faster car, but we are within DRS on Alonzo. So we should get that DRS here. And there goes that DRS sign lighting up. Then we're going to just cut back to normal. Cut back to normal with Ricardo as well. And then we'll cut Matt Lando down to standard. All right. Let's see what tires are Alonzo. Oh, Alonzo is on those mediums, so he's going a little faster. Yeah, we might have to bring our pace up too aggressive for our guys. We do have a lot of tire deck, so we should be able to go to the finish on aggressive with these tires. And that that aggressive pace should bring up uh bring our car up to those medium tires. Alright, should bring us up to those medium tires. And we're gonna use that ERS harvest where we can. Harvest where uh, we can. On, is okay, please? Yeah, confirm. Recharge on is good. All right, so we pulled okay. away from Gasly. Uh, just by a little bit, we're going to cut it back up. We pulled away just Recharge by a little bit okay. from Gasly a while ago, but because we were charging, he got back in within Recharge. DRS. And Off. now he's dropping back. Okay. He's dropping back. All right, so we're going to get... Uh, DRS here, then we're gonna charge. Charge. Can we have recharge on, please? Cool. And once we clear this corner, then we're gonna cut back to neutral recharge and neutral. Yeah, so we hold our position. What tires is Gasly on? Hard. Alright. Ricardo all Zoe is all over Ricardo. He's on those mediums. So he's a bit faster. But Lando Norris is right up on Alonso here. Looking really, really good. Alright, so let's add a few uh add some speed uh for the sake of the time on the video. And make up some see if we can keep up some places. Or the ERS goes flat out. There it goes. Then we're gonna cut to harvest. Harvest. So uh, recharge on. I'm happy. And right there is where we're gonna cut it back up to and neutral. And recharge off is okay. Please recharge off is okay. Yeah, confirm. All right. All right. We see Ocon all over the back of Lando Norris. Uh, but he's within that train, so Ocon is going to have to work really hard to get up uh, and around him. Danny Ricardo trying to stick with uh, Gasly. Trying to tighten up on that train. So we might have to put some overtake on him uh, in a little bit. But for now, we're just going to let our drivers drive as we add a little bit of speed. Alright, so while we were adding a little bit of speed, we see Ricardo... Dropping outside of DRS. Uh, and we see Joe getting back that position from him. And getting back into DRS. Uh, so that's alright Ricardo, no worries. And we see Ocon all over the back of Lando. Uh, in his mediums. With his medium tires while we're on those hards. And we're just keeping that pace up. 
Don't worry, Ricardo, you're going to get your time to strike. Uh, we just want to keep within that DRS train and hold the positions and keep going. All right, keep going, Danny. Looking good for boat drivers. So we're going to add back some speed. All right, so here we see Danny Ricardo kind of dropping out uh, of that DRS on Zoe. So we're going to give him some overtake and let him go push. Lando Norris doing well to hold P8. And we want to get Ricardo back within DRS on Zoe. So we want him to close that gap down to Zoe before we hit this next. All right, let's go up to attack and push this with him a little up. here. See if we can get okay. him back within that DRS on Zoe as he's dropped a hundredth of a second out so we want him to tighten up come on ricardo get back in there get back in there there's that drs line he got back in there did he cross the line before he got back in there yeah he's not gonna get drs nah. all right danny uh, let's go back down to aggressive let's keep that fuel pushing for danny and then let's charge a bit no worries danny those on those me those on all of those on those hards i'm definitely seeing them dropping off see i can see we're going too aggressive on our tires as well from our tire deck here so we want to kind of slow down our tire or tire deck Got back Danny to balance. Is he harvest? Let's put him back up to normal. Lando Norris doing a pretty good job trying to hold off Ocon, who's trying to be get by here because we've Recharge cut down off. the speed. Okay. We're going to cut Lando up to overtake to defend his position. Come on, Lando. Hold him. Yeah, he got us. I will cut back down. Okay. Harvest. Uh, where are you? Magnuson has also passed Ricardo. Harvest. Lose too much time. But it's all right. We're on the hards and we're basically dropping back to drivers on those softs. So no problems as those on those mediums uh, should be going back to pit. Okay, Lando, you can turn recharge off if you want to. They should be going back to pit, so we should be able to pick up out those positions. But Danny Ricardo, man, he's just dropping way too back here. He's just dropping way back. Come on, Ricardo, drive. All right, let's push some with that fuel. With that extra fuel that we got, let's do some push. Let's harvest Ricardo and then we're going to make one entire lap of overtake push. Let's harvest here, then we're going to do one lap of overtake push. All right, so here we now go for our one lap off overtake push. We're going to go overtake there. We can use overtake. And we're going to go overtake right there with Ricardo with that push. All right, so let's see if Ricardo can catch up and if Lando can close down that gap to Ocon or even pick up back that position from Ocon. Let's see. Lando is flying to Gasly, so we might get Gasly out of DRS. There we see him dropping back uh, as Ricardo is gaining to Magnussen. Really nice gain from Danny Ricardo to Magnussen here. Gasly's back on Lando. And 
Carter is basically dropping back off to Magnuson. Magnuson does not have uh, DRS though, so we should gain on him. Let's go, Lando. Alright, we're gonna cut back now to Harvest after we do that one full lap of push. Harvest. Did Ricardo get back within DRS? No, not exactly yet. But we're gonna keep them pushing. Let's use a little bit of that tire. Let's go a little aggressive on that tire just a little bit. Don't wanna to use too much. Let's see what pace you can do. Okay, understood. We want to see if we could get Ricardo back within DRS, at, at least DRS of Kevin Magnussen. Alright, 82% tires for us, 85% for Hamilton. So the AIs are managing their tires beautifully compared to what we're doing. We're basically burning our tires down. Right, let's cut to light for a little bit. As Lando sticks within that train. Come on, Ricardo. You got this. And then we'll cut to neutral. Just recharge off, please. Just recharge off. Cool. And then we'll cut to neutral. Recharge off. Right, let's go light okay. for Ricardo as well. But we're going to keep pushing that fuel. All right, Lando is dropping off. He's caught back up. Catch him back up. Standard. Standard. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, so our tire eggs are looking good to go to the finish. Looking good to go to the finish. So let's just keep going and watch those guys on those mediums. They are going to be going back to pit. I definitely feel like the mediums are going to be going back to pit. And that's when we want to strike to pick up some position. All right. So for now, we're going to keep going. Keep pushing that fuel. Lando now picking out Gasly outside of DRS. So he should get a nice clean pull behind Ocon with DRS while Gasly should not have any DRS so we should be closing that gap to Ocon with DRS but look at that Lando is basically losing time with DRS behind Ocon all right so he's back within it now let's cut him up to overtake for a bit you can use overtake there if you need it. And yeah, we'll just let Ricardo continue to drive. Now let's use some overtake with Lando here and try and close down uh, to Ocon. As Ricardo is not catching up to Magnussen, so we're just going to let him go. All right, so for the sake of the video, we're gonna add some speed. All right, guys, lap 39, and we see Joe and Mick Schumacher here uh, in the pits, and they were on those mediums after the pit stop, after the red flag. So as I said, I expect uh, all of those cars that went for mediums, I expect them to go back to pit while we extend these hards all the way to the end. So let's keep going with our tire ex expansion to the end. We see Ricardo also gaining uh, slowly but surely uh, gaining on Zoe, on Kevin Magnuson, I should say. So slowly but surely he's gaining on Zoe. I want to cut Nor Norris down to like uh, light on the tires, but uh, if we cut Norris down, he's going to get out of this DRS train. He's been struggling to stick with them. 
uh, for the most part. So we're going to keep him right there where he's at uh, and let him keep stick with them uh, the way he's been doing it. All right. So we're going to add some more speed. We'll come back about lap 45 uh, and see where we are at that time. All right. So lap 44. You see Lando Norris getting careful of running wide. So Let's Lando run wide there. Now, Let's take a look at that wide. Uh, just a little over uh, the inside line there. Hopefully it doesn't uh, cost him any time. As he's sticking. Let's cut him up to overtake. Yep, he's still overtake sticking. Sticking there on lap 44. He's Go still ahead. there. Uh, Danny Ricardo almost on Kevin Magnussen. Uh, within DRS should be oh what's that oh man Ricardo crashed out Ricardo crashed out guys is that gonna be a safety car it's gonna be a safety car and his car is retired oh man Ricardo crashed out and it's gonna be a safety car all right so we want to go to pit oh uh, we want to go to pit how long does the softs 36 laps all right, let's go to pit for these softs. Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. Uh-huh. And we see Ricardo in the wall right there. <laughs> oh, man. Ricardo is retired. All right, so everybody's taking this opportunity to dive in the pits. Everybody's diving in. Everybody. Is diving in there we go you see everybody okay. going to pit only Hamilton Russell okay, understood. did not take advantage of this pit stop pit pit Milano Norris uh, the Alpines we're in see where we get back out all right Norris on his way out as the Alpine stocks safety car has been deployed and we're back out. Where are we? P10. All right, so we're back out in P10. All right, so we're gonna cut down our tires to conserve fuel, conserve Just be careful with this tire. harvest, and look how yep, much. Okay. All right, so we're good to go to the tires to the end. And recharge on, recharge on. So the safety car is in this lap. All right, safety, safety car, car in. So we're going to cut up that and yeah, cut that up uh, and cut that to neutral. Maximum pace. So we okay. warm our softs up. All right, so not a lot of cars on softs, especially fresh softs or softs are fresh. So we should get a pretty decent start here. Pretty decent run on these tires to the finish. We should get a pretty decent run to the finish on these softs. All right. And one final reminder, no overtaking before the line. All right, no overtaking before yeah. the line. All right, we're going to let him go. Nice clean. Nice clean start. And then we're just going to cut him up to overtake right after here. Press overtake. All right. So there goes yeah. overtake. So Ricardo crashed out, leaving Lando Norris uh, to finish the race for us here. Currently in P10, uh, we're on the softer compound compared to uh, all the others. Alonso also is on soft, hards. Russell and Magnussen on mediums. I do think they they are going to be going back to pit. So I don't think those mediums are going to be good enough to go to the finish. But let's see. All right, all over Alonzo. We're gonna cut him down to neutral here. Uh, why I cut to neutral there? I don't want him to burn down his ERS. I want once DRS is, in, is enabled, uh, I'm gonna be going aggressive on these tires, and I want to have all of that ERS power to use to get some overtakes. But looks like we can squeeze in front of Alonzo here. So we're gonna press overtake and get that position. Really nice. See if we can get a clean exit on Gasly. And if we can take that inside line. And pick him off as well. Let's see. Here comes Lando Norris on Gasly using all that battery. 
Now we can cut down. Oh, what kind of driving is that from Gasly? What kind of driving was that from Gasly right there? That was some dangerous driving from Gasly, man. All right, we're down the inside. We're going to cut up to overtake. And see if Lando can get him on this corner. We have the better corner. Press that button. Going down the inside here. All the way. Got him. All right, push him off. All right, so we have Kevin Magnussen. Doing a good job so far. Keep that overtake going as we have not yet secured the position from Gasly still alongside us. So we want to keep that overtake going. And then when Lando closes his out, come on, hold him, Lando. Get out of the way, Magnussen. Down the inside now of Kevin Magnussen with that overtake. Here we go. Beautiful drive from Lando Norris. Beautiful, nice job, beautiful nice drive job. there from Lando. All right, let's see if we can get within DRS on Lewis Hamilton. Stay close. See if we can and go catch up to Hamilton. We're on the softer compound here. Hamilton is on some old hard tires. DRS is so we should be able to close the gap. Though his car is faster than ours, should be able to get within DRS on him. Let's keep pushing. Come on, Lando. There he is up the road. Just a little bit off. Keep that overtake press on. As we pull away from Magnussen and catches up to Lewis Hamilton. Nice drive in there from Lando Norris. A car run wide. Which car run wide? All right, since we're up on Hamilton, we're now going to cut down uh, and cut down to neutral. Alonso run wide. Let's take a look. He is behind us, and there he just going, just going a little wide there, not too much. Didn't lose any position. All right, so we stick in behind Lewis here as we dropped Magnuson and the rest of the field behind. All right, are we harvesting? Nope. Let's harvest. Can we have a recharge on, please? Let's harvest. All right, so we want to get kind of get in between Mercedes uh, here. So George Russell will not have DRS. Hamilton will do will have DRS on him. And we want to try and see if we can squeeze by Russell while Hamilton squeezed by as well. Probably not this lap, but in the next lap we'll try. As we're harvesting right now on our ERS. As we pull away from Gasly and the rest of them. All right, gets in near Lando. Nice and tight. Looks like he wants to go down the inside with the harvest on. All tires, all tires, Lando. All tires. All right, so what I'm going to do is now cut him up to attack. So he goes and see if he can get these positions. Uh, before we hit the DRS zone, and then we're going to use that DRS uh, and get the overtake done. All right. Now we say overtake. You can use overtake. And let's see if we can pick off Russell first on his old mediums. Old mediums, forty percent on his mediums. Come on, Lando, you got this. Battery's about to go out, but we got Russell. Really nice drive from Lando. Cut down to harvest. As Russell goes to pit, we'll have DRS on nice Lewis job. Hamilton. And then we'll cut him down to standard there. As we recharge, we don't want to go around Hamilton yet. We want Hamilton to pull us along as we harvest for right now. All right, Hamilton on his old hard tires. So he should be going to pit. Perez, uh, Leclerc, all of those on those old hards uh, possibly will be going to pit or we will be catching up to them real fast. With Lando here. All right, our tire eggs are looking good. Alright, Alonso seems to be gaining on us though. 
So we kind of want to improve on that. Tires are getting a little bit warm, says Lando. Don't want them to get too hot so they, they lose uh, grip. And we see now Alonzo right on us. And we're going to say attack Lewis and overtake. Here we go with DRS, and we got a nice clean exit, and we should be able to get Lewis Hamilton right here with Lando. Here we go on his old tires, and we're going to cut to neutral for or ERS, and then we're just going to let him power uh, for, or for a little bit before we cut uh, down the tires again. And let's see if we can pull away uh, from Hamilton and Alonso here. All right, what tires is Al uh, Alonso on? He's on softs. All right, so there goes up the road. We have Sergio Perez on his 52% cards. So we should be able to close down and catch up to Perez really quick here. So let's speed up for a few laps while we catch Perez. All right, guys, it's lap 55. And we see now Lando Norris, uh, we're going to cool down his tires a bit as we have been pushing uh, with him for a good amount of time. Uh, but we'll continue. We're gaining on him on his old hards. 48% now is his hards and our tires are at 54%. Uh, uh, we burned down a good amount to catch up to him though. Uh, so I'm just going to be controlling my tire deck from here uh, to catch up to Perez. We have that extra fuel to push. And Hamilton has been holding up Alonso really nice behind us. So no problems there. But let's keep going. As we are gaining slowly but surely. Let's add some more speed. Alright. Uh, what? We have a crash on track. Somebody crashed. Who crashed? Russell, we can take a look Russell now. crashed. Now let's let's take a look at, at that. Oh, that same oh, car that Danny Ricardo crashed at. Same car that Danny Ricardo crashed at, but no safety car uh, required for George Russell. He's managed to get back his car on track. All right, so we're 1.2 behind Perez with about four laps to go. Uh, so we want to we want to catch up is what we want. So what I'm gonna do now? Five laps to go. Oh, five laps to go. All right. So let's cut to harvest here a bit. I'd like recharge button off. Please. Let's go recharge a little bit off. aggressive on the tires while we charge. You see Perez on 43 percent on his hards. We don't want to burn ores too down too much. And let's cut up to overtake now and see if we could close down uh, to Perez by the time we should get DRS. Then we could cut back down to light on our tires. All right, here goes our first DRS pull behind Perez. Though we're on light on our tires and our ERS is a little drained. What I could do is cut to harvest on the ERS here. We have DRS. Sergio Perez does not have DRS and we're flying down Lando right beside him now to try for the position can he get within him we're gonna we're gonna chill for now and we're gonna charge let's speed it back up
all right guys so we're almost on the final lap uh, here our tires as you can see is way below 30% but what I'm gonna do uh, here is I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna attack Perez this is the last lap. yep we're just gonna go for it we're gonna go for the last lap Overtake button available. all right so we're gonna go for it we're attacking Perez for the pa for the final lap let's see if we can get P4 with Lando here he's on those old mediums we're on old softs as well Rears are not so strong, but we're going for it. Let's go up to deploy. So he gives it everything he got. Signs, what's happening to Signs? Why is he dropped back? Signs' car has basically dropped back. I don't know if he spun or he ran off the track or something, but he basically dropped back there. Come on, Lando, overtake. Give it everything you got. Ah, Sainz is going to give Perez DRS on that main straight. Man. Come on, Lando. Everything you got. Yeah, we don't care if the battery is drained. Everything. Everything you got. Sainz is going to give him Perez. Man. But something seems something is up with Sainz. Max Verstappen takes the win, and yeah, we're not catching him. Okay, that's the checkered flag. There we go. Checkered flag. So, awesome race at the end. Danny Ricardo crashed out. Uh, and Lando Norris up to P5 with those soft compounds. So, yes, uh, based off of the update, we do see the compounds of tires working really nice here. Uh, the different compounds putting up a good run. We do see that, all right? So that is very, very interesting uh, and a very good change to the game. So let's speed up to our celebration. There we go, P4. Lando Norris can be proud. What a fantastic performance from him. McLaren has shown some serious chops here. A good result for the team from Surrey. Still really solid showing out there, which is exactly what they needed. The end this weekend in fifth place in the construction. All right, stand. so we've moved up. Coming up next, the teams will be taking a trip to the Sunshine State. So though Danny Ricardo crashed out, Alino Norris did so well. We moved up. Nice. So that was definitely a nice race uh, for us here. There we see uh, Lando Norris moving up, Danny Ricardo getting dropped down. Uh, and there we see uh, we move up in front of Alfa Romeo. Uh, so we outperform them and that's where we want to be P5 or higher. So our next target is going to be those Alpine uh, with our new part that we're supposed to be getting pretty soon. So we didn't gain too much experience there for Orlando, uh, Danny Ricardo, but we gained a good amount for Lando and a good amount for Theo as well. All right, uh, so that's basically going to be it for this one, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this one. Uh, these bonuses are crazy that these guys get a P6 or higher. You get a bonus of 1 million. Uh, I guess so. All right, so use code word bonus down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys who watch the full videos for all your support. And that's basically going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All good, guys. Bye.